Cary Grant, the dashing Hollywood star, was known for more than just his memorable roles and award-winning films. His romantic endeavors were closely followed by fans and media alike, making him a constant topic of conversation both on and off the silver screen. Throughout his life, Grant had several high-profile marriages and passionate romances. These relationships were often filled with drama and intrigue, much like the plots of the movies he starred in. Despite the public's fascination with his love life, the actor remained private about his personal relationships, leaving much to speculation. One woman who held a significant place in Grant's heart was actress Sophia Loren. The two stars shared a playful and flirtatious relationship, which was documented in a series of photographs taken during their time working together. However, despite the obvious chemistry between them, their romance never progressed beyond friendship. Another notable relationship in Grant's life was his marriage to fifth wife Barbara Harris. The couple married in secret, while on vacation in Mexico, surprising everyone when they returned home as husband and wife. Unfortunately, their union was short-lived, lasting only four years before ending in divorce. Despite the numerous relationships and marriages attributed to Grant over the years, questions surrounding his sexuality have persisted even after his death. According to his daughter Jennifer, however, these rumors are unfounded and do not reflect her father's true nature. She insists that Grant was simply a man ahead of his time, unafraid to challenge societal norms and expectations. Join us as we explore the fascinating love life of one of Hollywood's most beloved leading men, taking a closer look at the women who left their mark on the actor's heart and the impact they had on his legacy. In 1934, the dashing actor Cary Grant took his first steps into married life with Virginia Cheryl, an American actress best known for her role in Charlie Chaplin's beloved film City Lights. At the time, their union seemed like a match made in Hollywood heaven, two talented artists coming together in love and matrimony. However, despite their promising start, the couple soon found themselves grappling with significant lifestyle differences. These discrepancies ultimately proved too great to overcome, leading to their unfortunate split just one short year later in 1935. The glitz and glamour of Tinseltown can often blind us to the realities faced by those living within its confines. For all intents and purposes, Cary Grant and Virginia Cheryl appeared to have it all fame, fortune, and most importantly, each other. But beneath the surface of their storybook romance lay deep-seated issues that would eventually drive them apart. As we delve deeper into the complexities of their relationship, we come to understand how even the most seemingly perfect pairings can falter under the weight of contrasting lifestyles and expectations. However, his second marriage to Barbara Hutton in 1942 was under constant scrutiny due to their differing backgrounds. Barbara, a wealthy heiress, and the actor, a movie star, faced challenges despite their fame and fortune. Their contrasting lifestyles and pressures from the public eye created tension, ultimately leading to their divorce in 1945. On the other hand, the actor's marriage to Betsy Drake was a different experience altogether. Lasting from 1949 to 1962, this union represented the longest phase of his married life. They enjoyed a strong emotional bond, finding joy in shared interests such as psychotherapy. This relationship allowed him to find stability and support during a pivotal time, reflecting a more balanced chapter in his life compared to his previous marriage. Cary Grant, already a seasoned actor in his mid-50s, found himself captivated by the vivacious and much younger Diane Cannon in 1965. This marks the fourth time the actor had ventured into matrimony. Their relationship was intense and filled with passion, yet it was marred by significant challenges. One of those hurdles was their considerable age gap, which fueled disagreements between them. Furthermore, their contrasting lifestyles added more tension to their union. Eventually, after three tumultuous years together, their marriage dissolved in 1968. Throughout his illustrious career, Cary Grant encountered unfounded conjecture concerning his sexual orientation. These whispers can be traced back to the cloak of secrecy he maintained around his personal affairs, as well as the stringent expectations imposed by Hollywood studios during his heyday. In order to preserve his flawless image, the actor rarely disclosed details of his private existence. As a result, speculation surrounding his intimate preferences persisted, becoming an indelible aspect of his multifaceted public identity. Despite these baseless rumors, Grant never allowed them to tarnish his professional reputation or prevent him from delivering stellar performances that continue to enthrall audiences even today. Jennifer Grant, daughter of the beloved actor Cary Grant, followed in her father's footsteps by pursuing a career in acting. She is his only child with Diane Cannon, 
one of the actresses he married later in life. Like her famous father, Jennifer also ventured into writing. Her book Good Stuff, A Reminiscence of My Father, Cary Grant offers readers a unique glimpse into her relationship with the iconic actor. This heartfelt memoir explores their bond through personal stories and fond memories, providing rare insight into the man behind the legendary persona. Throughout the book, Jennifer shares delightful anecdotes about growing up with the actor, giving us a peek into his private life offscreen, from tales of him making faces at her during dinner, to recounting how they spent time together watching movies. These moments reveal a side of Cary Grant unseen in his films, a caring and devoted father. The affection between them shines brightly throughout the pages, painting a picture of a loving father-daughter relationship despite the challenges posed by fame and busy schedules. By sharing these intimate experiences, Jennifer helps preserve her father's legacy while allowing fans to connect with him on an even deeper level. While she may have inherited her father's charm and wit, Jennifer has carved out her own path in Hollywood. Nonetheless, her touching tribute in Good Stuff, a reminiscence of my father, Cary Grant ensures that her father's spirit remains alive for generations to come. Through her words, we can better understand the genuine warmth and kindness embodied by the esteemed actor known as Cary Grant. In a recent interview, Jennifer Grant, daughter of the legendary actor Cary Grant, spoke out about her father in the context of a new eye TV series. She took the opportunity to address lingering rumors about his sexuality, firmly denying them based on her personal experiences and observations of him. According to Jennifer, the notion of her father being anything but straight is simply untrue. Throughout her life, she saw nothing to suggest otherwise, and she feels compelled to set the record straight. Despite the persistent whispers, she wants people to know that Cary Grant was, in fact, a devoted husband and family man. The actor was married five times, most notably to actress Sophia Loren and Woolworth heiress Barbara Hutton. He had one child, Jennifer, born in 1966 during his fourth marriage to Diane Cannon. Although his marriages ended in divorce, he remained close to many of his ex-wives, even after their romantic relationships concluded. Throughout his illustrious career, which spanned over three decades, Cary Grant captivated audiences with his charm, wit, and undeniable talent. From his early days in vaudeville theater to becoming a bona fide movie star, he left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His films, including North by Northwest, Charade, and An Affair to Remember, remain classics to this day, cementing his status as a timeless icon. It seems fitting that Jennifer would choose now to speak up about her father. With the release of The New Eye, TV series focusing on his life and legacy, it provides an excellent platform to dispel any misinformation surrounding his personal life. Her heartfelt defense serves as a testament to the kind of person Cary Grant truly was, a loving father who valued family above all else. In the glamorous world of Hollywood's golden age, few stars shone as brightly as Cary Grant. Born Archibald Leach on January 18, 1904, in Bristol, England, he would eventually captivate audiences worldwide with his charm and wit. At the tender age of 13, young Archie joined the Bob Pender stage troupe, touring the U.S. and honing his performance skills. Following a stint with the troupe, he decided to stay in America, embarking on a journey that led him through vaudeville, acrobatics, and even a brief period as a stilt walker. Eventually finding success on Broadway, it was his move to Hollywood that catapulted him to stardom. From the moment he appeared on screen, audiences were enchanted by his sophistication and charisma. Over four decades, Cary Grant graced the silver screen in over 70 films, including classics like North by Northwest, An Affair to Remember, and Charade. Throughout his illustrious career, Cary Grant received two Academy Award nominations, though he never took home the coveted statue. However, in 1970, he was presented with an honorary Oscar for his unique mastery of the art of screen acting and for his unforgettable contributions to the laughter, the suspense, and the magic of the movies. Cary Grant's influence extended beyond his film roles. Known for his impeccable style both on and off screen, he became a fashion icon, inspiring generations of men with his tailored suits and debonair demeanor. His impact can still be felt today, echoing through modern cinema and setting the bar high for future leading men. Born on January 18, 1904, in Bristol, England, Archibald Leach, known by his stage name Cary Grant, had a humble start. His father, Elias James Leach, was a tailor's presser, while his mother, Elsie Kingdom, performed in local music halls. However, young Archie's life took a turn when his mother was admitted to a mental institution when he was 11, leading him to believe she had passed away. 
He later discovered she was still alive, but chose not to reunite with him due to her fragile health. At 14, Archie joined Bob Pender's vaudeville troupe, where he learned acrobatics, juggling, and tap dancing. This experience sparked his interest in performing arts. After touring the United States with the troupe, he decided to stay and pursue acting. A series of small roles followed before gaining recognition in Broadway productions like Nicky and Cockatoo. Hollywood beckoned and Grant changed his name, adopting a more American persona. Throughout his career, several individuals played significant roles influencing his path. One such person was Mae West, who handpicked him for two of her films, boosting his popularity during the early stages of his film career. Another influential figure was director Howard Hawks, who cast him in Bringing Up Baby, solidifying Grant's status as a comedic actor. Later, Alfred Hitchcock would become instrumental in shaping some of Grant's most memorable suspenseful performances. Despite challenges along the way, including overcoming a stutter and dealing with personal issues related to his childhood traumas, Cary Grant persevered, becoming one of Hollywood's most beloved actors. Ever since he was a young boy, Archibald Leach, later known as Cary Grant, found solace in performing. He was born in Bristol, England, and had a challenging upbringing. His father abandoned him, and his mother placed him in a series of boarding schools. To escape reality, Archie would often daydream about being someone else, anywhere but where he was. This sparked his interest in acting. At the age of 13, while attending Bishop Road Primary School, Archie joined the school's drama club. During one performance, he played the role of a clown, which received much praise from both teachers and students alike. That moment ignited a fire in him, solidifying his love for entertaining people through various personas on stage. In pursuit of refining his skills, Archie decided to join Bob Pender's troupe of comedians, acrobats, touring across Britain. During these tours, he learned valuable lessons about discipline, timing, and humor. Eventually, he moved to America with the troupe, joining vaudeville acts before venturing into films. Through sheer determination and hard work, Archie transformed himself into the iconic movie star named Cary Grant, captivating audiences worldwide with his charm and charisma. Born Archibald Leach in Bristol, England, Cary Grant's journey to Hollywood stardom was filled with obstacles. Financially struggling from a young age, he worked as a messenger boy and later joined an acrobatic troupe to make ends meet. But when the troupe went bankrupt, Leach found himself penniless in New York City. Undeterred by his circumstances, Lurch lied about his age and experience to land a job in vaudeville. This marked the start of his performing career, but success didn't come easily. He faced skepticism from casting directors who doubted his potential due to his thick accent and unpolished acting skills. Determined to succeed, Grant took matters into his own hands. He enrolled in acting classes and worked tirelessly to perfect his craft. In addition, he adopted the stage name Cary Grant to distance himself from his humble beginnings and cultivate a more sophisticated image. Despite facing numerous setbacks, including being fired from several films, Grant persisted. His perseverance paid off when he landed a role in Blonde Venus, which caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. From then on, Grant became one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men, appearing in classics like North by Northwest and An Affair to Remember. Throughout his career, Grant remained dedicated to honing his craft and pushing boundaries. Despite encountering countless obstacles along the way, he never gave up on his dreams. Instead, he used each challenge as an opportunity to grow and improve, ultimately leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Cary Grant's breakthrough moment started with his first leading role in Blonde Venus alongside Marlene Dietrich. Critics took notice of his charm and comedic timing. Later, director Howard Hawks cast him as Walter Burns in his Girl Friday, where he truly shone. Hawks himself said, Cary had an amazing quality, he could do comedy better than anyone else. A significant milestone came when Alfred Hitchcock chose Grant for several films, including Suspicion, which earned him a Best Actor nomination. His portrayal of a charming but potentially dangerous husband intrigued audiences. Film critic Pauline Kael noted, Grant brought a lightness to every character he played. Another pivotal moment arrived with North by Northwest, also directed by Hitchcock. This film cemented Grant's status as a major star, and showcased his ability to combine humor with suspense effortlessly. Collaborator Eva Marie Saint recalled, working with Carey was pure joy. He made everything look so easy. The public adored Grant, and his fan base grew even larger after his roles in Charade and Father Goose. These performances further highlighted his versatility and unique screen presence.
Peers often spoke about how much they admired his talent and professionalism. Actress Grace Kelly once remarked, he has a kind of magic. I don't think anybody else ever had. Cary Grant's artistic vision was shaped by his early life struggles and successes. Born Archibald Leach on January 18, 1904, in Bristol, England, he faced adversity when his father placed him in a boarding school after his mother disappeared. This experience taught him resilience and adaptability, qualities that would later define his acting career. At 16, young Archie joined a troupe of acrobats called the Bob Pender Stage Troupe, touring the United States. His time with the group provided valuable lessons about discipline, teamwork, and showmanship. These experiences laid the foundation for his signature charm, wit, and poise stage presence. Grant approached every role with meticulous attention to detail. He studied each character carefully, often experimenting with different voices, gestures, and expressions until he found the perfect fit. In preparation for his iconic role in North by Northwest, he learned to pilot small planes, mastered golf swings, and even practiced drinking martinis smoothly. Such dedication earned him admiration from colleagues and solidified his place among Hollywood legends. His suave demeanor extended beyond film sets. Known for being impeccably dressed both on and off camera, he once said, I pretend to be somebody I want to be, and I finally become that person. Indeed, through self-reflection and transformation, he became one of the most beloved actors in cinema history. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his life, including accusations of cowardice during World War II due to his British nationality, he remained committed to his craft and continued pushing boundaries. Later in his career, he took risks playing against type, starring in films like Charade alongside Audrey Hepburn. By embracing vulnerability and humor, he proved himself capable of reinventing his image while maintaining his trademark elegance. Cary Grant left behind an impressive body of work reflective of his innovative spirit and unwavering commitment to excellence. Through roles grounded in reality yet infused with whimsy, he captured audiences worldwide and inspired generations of performers who followed in his footsteps. Even today, his legacy continues to resonate, reminding us all of the power of perseverance, hard work, and staying true to oneself. Cary Grant, born Archibald Leach on January 18, 1904, was a pivotal figure in Hollywood's golden age. His impact and influence extend beyond his charming on-screen presence and box office success. Grant brought a new kind of leading man to the screen, one who was witty, sophisticated, and unafraid to poke fun at himself. He once said, I'm admired by many and loved by few, but I wouldn't have it any other way. This self-deprecating humor set him apart from his contemporaries and made him relatable to audiences. His impeccable comedic timing revolutionized comedy films. As film critic Leonard Maltin noted, Cary Grant could make you laugh just by raising an eyebrow. Directors like Howard Hawks and Alfred Hitchcock recognized his talent and cast him in some of their most memorable movies, such as Bringing Up Baby and North by Northwest. Off-screen, Grant challenged gender norms of the time. Known for his dapper style, he wasn't afraid to wear clothing traditionally considered feminine like fitted suits and silk scarves. This breaking of barriers opened doors for future generations of actors. Modern stars like George Clooney and Ryan Reynolds cite Grant as an inspiration. Clooney even admitted to stealing Grant's walk. These actors continue the legacy of charm and humor that Grant helped establish. In conclusion, Cary Grant's contributions to cinema reach far beyond his own performances. Through his innovative acting choices and daring personal style, he left an indelible mark on both the movie industry and popular culture. Cary Grant was known for his charm and sophistication both on and off screen. In his personal life, he had many interests beyond acting. He loved playing golf and tennis and even competed in celebrity tournaments. Grant also had a passion for flying, earning his pilot's license in the 1950s. Despite being a private person, Grant was involved in several charitable endeavors. He supported various children's organizations and hospitals throughout his career. One notable example includes his involvement with the Motion Picture and Television Fund, which provides financial assistance and healthcare services to those in need within the entertainment industry. Grant's personal values often influenced his film choices. For instance, he frequently played roles that showcased kindness, integrity, and humor, qualities he valued highly. Additionally, he once stated, I think you have to know yourself completely before you can really express yourself through your work. This self-awareness likely contributed to his ability to connect deeply with audiences and create memorable performances. 
One significant cause close to Grant's heart was mental health awareness. After experiencing anxiety and depression himself, he became an advocate for addressing these issues publicly. His willingness to discuss his own struggles helped break down stigmas surrounding mental illness and encourage others to seek help when needed. Offscreen, Cary Grant led a rich and fulfilling life filled with diverse hobbies, strong values, and compassionate actions. These aspects of his personality undoubtedly shaped his successful career as an actor and left a lasting impact on both the film industry and society at large. Cary Grant, born Archibald Leach in 1904, remains a timeless symbol of grace and charm in Hollywood's golden age. His legacy lives on through his unforgettable performances in films like North by Northwest and An Affair to Remember. He once said, I pretended to be somebody I wanted to be until finally I became that person or he became me. This quote encapsulates his ability to transform into various roles, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. For those who aspire to follow in his footsteps, Grant advises embracing versatility and self-discovery. He believed that constant growth and exploration were essential to success. In addition, he urged young actors to remain grounded and humble despite achieving fame. As for the future, Imagine a world where artists continue pushing boundaries while staying true to themselves, much like Cary Grant did throughout his career. Actors can contribute to this vision by honoring past legacies and paving new paths for future generations. They must remember that every performance holds power, capable of shaping culture and influencing society. So, tread thoughtfully, work diligently, and always strive for authenticity. Born Archibald Leach in 1904, Cary Grant started his journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. His passion for acting led him to join a troupe of acrobats, where he honed his skills and learned to captivate audiences. In 1932, he made his way to Hollywood, gracing the silver screen with his charm and wit. Throughout his career, Grant embraced innovation, constantly pushing boundaries and challenging himself. He starred in various genres, from romantic comedies like The Awful Truth to suspenseful thrillers such as North by Northwest. With each role, he brought depth and nuance, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. Cary Grant's influence transcended generations, inspiring countless actors who followed in his footsteps. His unique style and panache remain iconic, etching his legacy deep into the fabric of the entertainment industry. Even today, his films continue to resonate with audiences, reminding us all of the power of creativity and perseverance. As we reflect upon Cary Grant's life, and career, it becomes clear that dedication to one's craft can lead to greatness. His story serves as a testament to the idea that, through hard work and passion, anyone can leave an everlasting impact on the world. So take inspiration from this remarkable man, and let your own creative spirit soar. As we take time to appreciate the career of Cary Grant, it's hard not to be amazed by his range and consistency. Born January 18, 1904, he started his journey in vaudeville before making it big in Hollywood. With over 70 films under his belt, spanning genres like romance, comedy, drama, and even film noir, he left an undeniable impact on the industry. Grant was known for his charm, wit, and suave demeanor, elements that made him a leading man audiences adored. He worked alongside some of the most talented actors and actresses of his time, creating unforgettable performances in classics like North by Northwest, Notorious, and An Affair to Remember. His ability to adapt to various roles showcases his true talent and dedication as a performer. Reflecting on his contributions, one can't help but admire how seamlessly he navigated through different eras of cinema while remaining relevant and beloved by fans. Even today, new generations continue to discover and enjoy his timeless work. Now, dear viewers, what are your favorite memories of Cary Grant? Which of his films resonates with you the most? Share your thoughts below so we can celebrate his lasting influence together. Don't forget to hit that like button, spread the word about our channel, and subscribe for more wonderful content dedicated to the artists who shaped the world of entertainment.